Hi guys, Daniel here. I'm just at a hotel in Tokyo and it's a one bed on suite. And just want to show you because it looks very similar to our HMOs, our houses of multiple occupation in the UK. So let's take a look. So coming into the room, as you can see, it's uh, quite a neat size. So let's see, we have the bed here, over here and a little desk area for work. Uh, HMOs in the UK will probably come a little bit bigger with a wardrobe as well, you know, for a working professional, single living, working in the area. But it would have its own ensuite toilet for a lot of them. So it might look something like this. Um, just, you know, an ensuite with a shower area, which doesn't have to be that big. And, you know, there are little tips in which you can save space with foldable doors like these. So just want to give you an idea of, um, you know, what the end spec would look like. Uh, a little bit like a hotel room, you know, people enjoy living there. And a lot of times the working professionals in the UK that live in our HMOs, they spend a lot of time at work. They could be nurses, trainee doctors in a the hospital. They could be uh, workers in a nearby town. So it really is a comfortable room, hot water, good Wi-Fi, and we're off. And they would pay rent, you know, to the tune of 90 to 100 pound per week. If you have five or six of these in a property, that's going to add up. And then each of these properties could, you know, range between 100 uh, and 20 to 150k pounds. So you do the math, right? It's going to be a nice, for ye for HMOs, we're looking at an 8 to 12% net yield, net of all expenses. So yeah, just want to give you an idea of how HMOs work in the UK.